convey yeah. but, what the gratitude that we feel for them. Because had they not come, you know, we would have lost, we lost them. Firefighters say the Wartmans did the right thing by calling 911 and not trying to rescue their beloved sweet doggy there on their own. Coyotes, well, they can be pretty intimidating if you encounter them in the wild. And it could be even worse when they're tripping. For real. Coyotes tripping on psychedelic mushrooms to Northern California, Marin County, where they've got an interesting problem. Mm -hmm. You see, coyotes are jumping out into the middle of a highway. People are slamming on the brakes. The coyote will then stare at you, give your car a good sniff down, and then go running back into the brush. Now, officials don't think it's rabies, but there are some freaky, freak hallucinogenic shrooms in the area that apparently might explain the strange and aggressive behavior. What kind <laughs> of psychedelic I mean, freaky things? freak shrooms? He's just looking for a fish concert. That's all. A fish concert. Oh, yeah, a fish concert. Mm -hmm. That's just strange. Coyotes, just all in all, they are just strange. Encountered them in Arizona, and they were just no. Weird. They're strange. I had one in my backyard. He stared me down. I was on a tractor. He they, didn't care. They do that. He no. didn't care. He's like, I'll take I, you I on. I think you just <laughs> I'll take you get on. out the way. Oh yeah, and we're worried about Gibby, but you know, so far so good. Gibby's tough. As no. long as he doesn't get in any mushrooms. No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't want Gibby to be tripping. <laughs> no, no. Gibby's, Gibby's too sleepy to be tripping, I tell you. All right, let's talk, talk about the three-degree guarantee. I was worried, and for good reason today. I actually lowered the number last night uh, to what I thought was a pretty good reasonable number at uh, 41. We made it. 43 was the high, so we were two off. I lowered tomorrow's number from 47 to 44. Let's hope that also is a good move. OK, live look outside to our live Michael and Son weather camp. We're down to 32 in the city, but mainly in the 20s in the burbs. Winds are now calming down west northwest at about eight and they're going to switch and become more southwesterly tomorrow. And that will help bring up milder air, not so much for tomorrow, but for the weekend and next week. So a chilly start, excuse me, a cold start and chilly finish tomorrow. Much milder on Sunday. We're back into the 50s and then mild to warm Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Wednesday, what we're tracking. Yep, not a snowstorm, a rain and thunderstorm uh, possibility with temperatures in the 60s. Let's hope most of the snow can get away from the storm drains because I think about an inch of rain will fall uh, with this storm on Wednesday. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., we have teens. These aren't wind chills. 19 in Gaithersburg, 17 in Leesburg, uh, 17 also in Fairfax, and 20 in Silver Spring. By 930, we're still primarily in the 20s. Uh, 26 in Dumfries and Dale City, 28 in Culpeper, uh, 22 in Hagerstown, and 27 uh, in uh, Winchester. And then by 1 o'clock, now we're getting somewhere. We're 40 downtown, upper 30s uh, in the Burbs, even 39 in Cumberland. And then by evening, 6 o'clock, still 40 downtown and in the upper 30s. And I think tomorrow night, inside the Beltway, temps will not make it below freezing. That's a good thing. So no black ice tomorrow night in, in town. By 10 o'clock, you're going to get close to freezing out toward Hagerstown and Martinsburg once again with temperatures in the uh, upper 30s. But again, not as cold tomorrow night as tonight. So day planner starting out in the 20s but teens in the burbs on Saturday and then 37 at 11 o'clock and 42 with sunshine by one o'clock. Next three days, much milder on Sunday, 54 and then still mild on Monday, but 56 cold front rolls through late in the day. Next seven days had to drop temps just a little bit of skosh on Tuesday behind the cold front, still 50s and then boom back in the 60s rain and thunderstorms on Wednesday oh. and then back to winter Thursday and Friday. Oh, 63. So winter's canceled just for a day. A day. A day. So we'll take that. <laughs> exactly. right. Frank's here talking hockey. We got the NHL All Star Weekend ahead of us. Lots of Capitals taking part in the festivities and a special homecoming for Caps head coach Barry Trotz. We'll explain more in sports next. There was no business like snow business and Tenacious Topper proved it. You are the hardest working man in snow business. I like that. When weather matters, the WUSA 9 First Alert Weather Team and Tenacious Topper were there when it counted. These are the final 72 hours to save. Choose from thousands of new Coons vehicles and buy with no payments until June. Plus, get up to thousands more for your trade. Right now, online at Coons.com. There is so much to explore on Cayman's three beautiful islands. It's okay. There's always tomorrow. Find your Cayman kind in the Cayman Islands with not.